Hello there, my good friends of YouTube. Uh, well, today uh, on the Oud video today, I'm just going to uh, show you uh, my X-ray transformer, the one that I was uh, doing some time ago. Do you remember the uh, 150 kV one that I did? Um, I was getting quite a nice arc off it on around about 20 volts or something, if I remember rightly, and. Uh, <clears throat> it was it was working pretty well and I really did like that transformer so what I did I uh, stuck it into um, a container you know a proper uh, the box a box which another um, transformer came out of and uh, it's it's all in there now and full of mineral oil and uh, it's, it's, it's it works really really well I did actually use some small insulators which to be honest with you didn't work that well unfortunately, where's the box? unfortunately the insulators that I used the um, the art out straight through the actual insulators themselves and oh, they stunk rotten really did stink bad this is one of them here that's where I dropped it which is a bit of a shame but can't be out look at that these are only meant for about 10 kV and I was putting way too much through them. It's alright when the arc, when you've got an actual <clears throat> closed circuit, but once you've got an open circuit, it just all I did was this internal arc and I thought, oh, I know exactly what's happened. Not good at all. <laughs> I did actually um stick a few pictures on um, Google Plus and um, asking some guys what they thought of um, certain insulators you know um, pictures of different kinds on the actual box and so many people you know mentioned oh they look nice these look nice uh, my friend um, Rida um, Ray Vidalco 2007 um, because I talked to him quite a lot he's, um, he's a pretty good bloke he is and it was on about insulators and stuff and which ones would look the best and which ones would would, would um, you know be okay for it and you know whether or not I would drill an actual hole all the way through these standoffs and actually have them as um, insulators but uh, unfortunately I don't think they would either take the KV so um, what I'm gonna do what I've actually done is, is I've wired up some um, some federal connectors and add those inside the holes instead of and just wide straight up to those and then use the actual connectors themselves and then able to connect off the top of one and so the other one I'm not actually using a connector going into it sorry about me rambling on I've just put a bit of wire down and a load of plastic I'll show you anyway show you and, and I'll show it you working as well let's see if I can turn this camera around it's not gonna let me turn the camera around is it flipping piece of crap well, <clears throat> there it is. There's the beast. And uh, as you can see, there's a federal just here. And there's the piece of piping which I've stuck inside, as well as some thinner, smaller pipe inside. And I've stuck a bit of wire up which goes all the way into the bottom of the federal connector. You've got three holes at the bottom where the actual socket fits in and the bits fits into the socket and the piece of wire just goes straight into it and because they're all connected into the same bits at the bottom there I hope this uh, video is going to be pretty good in this I don't know what megapixel the front camera is it better be decent otherwise there'll be trouble <laughs> anyway <clears throat> I'll show you this working it works pretty well as you can see oh there's even a window there look so that you can view inside because there was that was open see because there's a circuit board sticking out of the top of there that went inside so I did a pretty good job on it actually. I'm a bit peed off actually because I can't turn this bloody camera around. I can't turn it around. I'm kind of my um, tablet, but I can't do it on this. Damn thing. They never make things easy, do they? <laughs> right, let's get this going. Right, through the ZVS driver, through the ferrite just there. Look, three. Wire, three going in, centre tap, and then ten turns out and straight into the transformer. So I hope you can see this. Let me just double check that that is fine there.
You can hear the hum inside. It's alright isn't it, it works pretty well. That bolts is 25 bolts guys. Pretty cool, eh? That'll run like that Pfft. until the windings start to get on the federal uh, on the federal. Until the windings start getting hot on the toroid, that will run for well for a very very long time. <laughs> I enjoyed the video, guys. Some different, isn't it, from camera, eh? I can see you as well as you can see me. We're having a two-way conversation. Oh wait, what? What you say? Yeah, that's true, yeah, 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 that's right, yeah. I don't mind. Yeah, we can do that tomorrow. Why not? Let's have some high voltage fun. <laughs> so I'm going to be a loopy. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope it was entertaining. Thought I'd just keep you uh, posted of and uh, what I've been doing and stuff. But uh, I've had a bit of a move around in here as well. I've moved the beast. I've got the big beast over there, look. And then over this side. I've got that beast, as well as my shelf and everything else. Just made things a little bit easier to get to. So you get a 3D dimensional room spin. <laughs> I'm just watching uh, Tremors. Don't tell me no one's seen Tremors. Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Take care, guys. Speak soon. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Give us a comment. See you later. <laughs>